Hello everyone, Habibi here. Welcome back to my another Unity tutorial. This time, I'm going to share with you about how to load an object from a web server in Unity. So, let's say I have this object. I have some objects here in this file. This is the asset bundle file. So inside this file, I have, I have two objects actually. It is located here on my local web server and I'm running XAM uh, local web server. So my web server, my local web server is running now. Here is my Unity and here is an, an object here with this script attached. I have this script attached to this object and what it does is it is loading an object it is loading my asset bundle object here in this link this link means this location on my local web server so if i run this game i will retrieve or i will load an object called bundle object inside this asset bundle file so if i run the game let's see This object, I call it bundled object, it is completely loaded from this file on my web server. As you can see, it is not here. I have no prefab of that object here. My assets folder, my in, in Unity, only this scene, these three prefabs, which is uh, just uh, an empty object so I have I don't have that object that I loaded here inside this unity it is on my web server it is here I have another object the name of the object is uh, three cubes and let me retrieve it this is the three cubes, three cubes object that is located inside this asset bundle file. So to load the object, you will need this, an empty object with this script attached. Let's see how the script looks like. This is the script to load an asset bundle file from web server here you can uh, specify your url to the to your asset bundle file or you can modify it here and this one is the object name that you want to retrieve you can copy and paste my script here i will put a link on the description of this video you can go to my blog and you can get this script there but another question is how do we make another object how do we create another object and bundle it as asset bundle and upload it to our web server i will answer this question on my next video i will make another object and i will create another new asset bundle file and put it here and load it here on unity so see you soon on my next video thank you